morning, my fine friends on the internet. My truck is whistling at you. You hear that? The wind is hitting it just right that my visor is whistling and it's driving me nuts. That aside, it's another new day. Yesterday we didn't film much. Today I want to film a little more. We're in North Dakota, coming close to Grand Forks, coming southbound on Interstate 29. We're on our way to Chicago. Got to deliver pretty much right by the O'Hare International Airport in Chicago tomorrow. Sometime. First come, first serve. I'm probably going to be there around midday. I'm a little further behind than I wanted to be, but I explained that yesterday that my sister was in an accident. And I didn't want to leave until I knew that it wasn't serious. But thank goodness, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, uh, thank goodness that it wasn't it wasn't anything too serious. She had a sprained ankle, some cuts and bruises, and it's probably pretty sore today. But uh, very lucky considering it was a head-on collision. But anyway, today we uh, we want to make it past Black River Falls. I'd like to stop in at a gym. I talked about this a little bit last week, right? I got a gym membership. I got a membership at Snap Fitness. I, I decided on Snap Fitness because for the for one reason there's a location, a really new no, new nice location in Steinbeck. So when I'm at home, there's a gym that I can go and make use of right there. But also it has locations all across North America in Canada and the United States. And my membership access card gives me access to every single location across both countries. And a lot of gyms do this. But I found that, well, there was only two gyms in Steinbeck. There was Snap Fitness and there was Anytime Fitness. And there's another one that's not as big of a chain. But those are the two biggest chains that have a location in town. And Anytime Fitness, I looked at their locations around Canada and the United States. And a lot of their locations are in the heart of a residential zone. And I couldn't get my truck anywhere near any of their locations. So I, it, that didn't seem very useful to me. So I checked out uh, the Snap Fitness locations, especially along my main routes like Western Canada and through the Midwest of the US here. And I found that most of their locations uh, have somewhat truck access, or I can at least park my truck nearby within a block or two and I can just walk to the gym, right? And that works, works a lot better. So I'm going to try to make a point of it to stop at the gym. Uh, at least three times a week. I'd like to go uh, more than that, but I'm only going to do strength training three times a week. And the other times I'll just do cardio, or if I'm in a hurry, I'll just uh, you know spend an hour on the treadmill or on a bike or something. I don't I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm a rookie. But I have my access card with me, so there's locations nearby where I stop in Fargo, North Dakota that I can get to. There's one in Sauk Center, Minnesota, right by that Walmart that we always stop at. We'll get our groceries and then just walk across the street. There's a Snap Fitness location there. And uh, they're, they're pretty accessible and they're, they're pretty numerous around both countries. So I'm going to try to make a point of it every day, as often as I can anyways to stop in and spend an hour or two, however much time I can afford, and try to create a better habit for myself and get myself a little bit healthier. Let's see what happens. I haven't actually gone yet. I got my membership last Tuesday, and I'm filming this on Thursday now, right? Yeah, no, it's Wednesday, so I got my membership on Monday, the day before yesterday, and I haven't had a chance to go yet. Uh, Snap Fitness in Steinbeck has a special a uh, special program or whatever for long haul truckers. It's a special discount. It's $10 less per month. But you have to sign up for 12 months. And I didn't want to commit to the 12 months just yet. And it's not that I don't want to commit to being healthy for 12 months. It's just that I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of this gym membership being on the road. Like I said, there's locations all around on my routes. But I don't know how often I'm actually going to be able to get to the gym. So I'm, I'm on a month to month membership right now. I'm going to try this for a few months, see how much use I get out of it, and if I see that I'm, I'm actually making good use of my membership, I'm going to jump onto the long haul trucker plan, and that'll save me $10 a month. 
So then it goes down to $42 Canadian a month, which is what, 35 bucks American or something? But every gym probably has different plans. There's a lot of truck drivers around my area. That's probably why they offer that plan for us. Yeah, that's my new little endeavor. I wanna hopefully be successful in it. I'm not planning on getting ripped or anything or making huge gains. I just wanna get healthy and if I get ripped along the way, hey, that's a bonus. Someone hit the ditch here on the right, look at that. Whoops. Oh, they rolled. It looked like they rolled. Yikes. I hope they were okay. The scale is open here, just west of uh, Fargo, North Dakota. We're in Minnesota here right now. And my new scale bypass system just gave me the signal here on my screen that I can bypass this open scale. It gave me the green light. This is the first time I've ever done this in my life. Let's see what happens. The scale's open, this guy's going in. But my system says I'm clear and I'm good to pass. I got the green light. Here we go. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm gonna go past it. Said that I don't need to pull in. I hope that it didn't mean like bypass in there. Like I'm supposed to go through there. There's the scale house on the right. Let's see if they chase me down. Nobody's running out to their vehicle. Because they have a bypass lane in the scale, right? But if it says bypass on my screen here in my truck, I was told I'm just supposed to keep driving. Don't even pull in. Green light means go. So I guess they get some kind of message inside the building there saying, hey, that guy over there, that guy in the truck, Bulba, that's Trucker Josh. He's good. He's good. Let him go. He's just going to drive on past. Right. I guess we'll see what happens. See if they chase me down. We're here in Rothesay, Minnesota. Just pulling off the road. I'm going to grab a coffee. Over there at the truck stop. Usually where I stop if I'm coming through here from home Usually I would grab a coffee when we leave like home and then I go get the truck right hook onto the trailer And by the time I get here, I'm ready for Coffee number two of the day. I usually only have two coffees a day. Sometimes I have three That's where I usually get one. I think I'm gonna stop in Sock Center and try to uh, make my way over to the snap fitness gym there so I don't want to stay here too long because that's going to be my half hour break there. Turn right onto I-94 East. No! I'm going to park. Not all the way at the back here. I don't know where this guy is. Just leaves his trailer at the truck stop. Nice tarp though. He's got a very nice brand new tarp on there. Quickly run in and out. I have four hours and 24 minutes available to me before I have to stop for my half hour and like I said I want to do that half hour in Sock Center so that I can uh, use that to uh... man there's a lot of things making noise in here constant dinging use that half hour to go to the gym there we go nice truck nice and so completes my first visit to the gym in Sock Center Minnesota I just parked by the McDonald's here on the street where they say 70s can park then walked over it's just a half a block away and all I did today was 45 minutes on the treadmill on a, a program that's called rolling hills so that the incline goes up and down so it was my first time there just getting used to things got a little bit of a blister on the bottom of my foot but that's okay that'll heal quickly but the next time I go there it'll be all good it'll turn to a nice callus <clears throat> excuse me but uh, yeah, for my first time going to the gym in years and years and years, and first time ever going to a gym in the United States, uh, I, th I feel really good about myself. Got the endorphins running, 
Got the blood pumping. I feel good. I feel like I did something today that made the day worthwhile. So now we got a long way to go yet. Uh, we have another six and a half hours available to us. I'd like to go as far as we can. I would take you guys into the gym with me, but they have a pretty strict policy. No cameras and videoing in the gym for what I think are obvious reasons. But if you want to check out the gym I was at, it's Snap Fitness in Sock Center. Just a little guy, little 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 location, but it has everything you need in there. Wasn't too busy, and uh, I liked it. Time to go down the road, though. Apparently, Black River Falls, Wisconsin, got a ton of snow recently. This lot is just packed. I can't believe how many of these drivers cannot park straight when there's snow on the ground. It's alarming. So many drivers taking up two spots just because, you know, couldn't tell where the lines were. And I'm not capable of, you know, lining myself up with the truck beside me. So I just took up two spots. Another one. That's really annoying. Why is there so much snow here? Wisconsin, you've been holding out on me. You've been hogging all the snow. I got more at my house if you want some more. You seem to really like it.